Welcome back. Today we're going to take a closer look at the deck machine. So now we should start start do some pallet decks. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> For the pallet deck you need the stringer boards and the deck boards. Okay. And the stringer boards is here in, in the cassettes in the back end of the machine. Mm -hmm. And the deck boards are in two cassettes here in the front. Gloves for you. Perfect, thank you. Woo. Now we want a nice looking deck. Mm -hmm. And you want that, that down. Ah, so you can't see it. Yes. The deck boards mm -hmm. and Stringer boards. Let's start the machine. Yeah. Can I push the button? Yes, you can. Let's go. And now we have it on interval nailing, so it does one one nailing per mm. push. I see. If you want to let it let it run, you have to take the interval nailing away. Uh, Peter, what are these? These are ho holding the boards in place. Can you have different size of stringer boards? Yes, you can have. We have adjustment here in the side steering, so you can use... Ah, here! Different. So you can make it wider? Yeah, you can make it wider or narrow, narrow. for okay. different width. The machine is adjusted, the channels are adjusted automatically to different okay. width. Okay. Depending on the deck size. We have sensors for checking that you got your nail down to the hammer. So it's quite a complicated machine. Yeah, to, to do it from scratch it's quite complicated. When, mm -hmm. it's, when it's done it's not so complicated. Yeah, when it's working it's easy. Yeah. It usually is though. Yeah. Easy when it's working. <laughs> yes. So tell me about the nailing box. How does it work? Yeah, the box is moving up and down and the nails mm -hmm. are positioned in, in, in the rails. So the movement makes the nails go in the rails? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, I see. We but you had three different hammer stations or hammer... Yeah, four for every stringer board. We okay. have our own nailing pattern. Mm -hmm. So you have different nailing patterns for different pallets? Depending on what pallet yeah, you're making. Yeah, then you are then you're replacing if you have, want to change it. But I see, you have one nail here and here's two. Yeah. So you decide the pattern yourself. Yes. Okay. And then it goes on to the chain conveyor, right? Yes. So what is this? It feels like this is a stop sign. Stop sign! <laughs> oh. Don't touch it! <laughs> I just had to check the question. So, this is the design department. Ah, so this is where all the ideas come to life. Yes. For example, we have Niklas here working on the layout we saw hey. in real life. It uh, really looks re like it, it is in real life. Yeah, this is what we try to do with, with every line, to get as soon as possible to the customer a picture of what he's buying. He gets a really great idea when he sees this. Yeah, and this can be done even more detailed as it will be when it's installed. Yeah. So tell me, what are some solutions that you come up with that you are really proud of? I think it's the clinching. Okay. That, Why? That, that's probably the only working clinching system in the world. Really? That's an achievement? Yes, it is. Wow. Peter, it seems like these solutions are really thought through. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next episode.